Hi guys, Taisha here and welcome to our first Coffee Chat uh, video. We will be interviewing Andrew, our head grower today here at the farm. Uh, make sure to always follow these videos as we will be interviewing uh, very interesting people and all the themes all related to farming. Hi guys and welcome to our first Coffee Chat. Uh, today I have Andrew Weiss on and he's our head grower here at the farm. Uh, today we'll be talking about hydroponics. So welcome on, Andrew. Thank you. If you want to tell us a little bit about your career within hydroponics. Yeah, so I originally started growing tomatoes and peppers in my backyard when I was 13. I had probably 20 different kinds of each. My backyard was filled with plants. Um, going from there, my first job I was at a garden nursery, it was right down the street. Um, I took care of all the plants there. We had anything you could think of, basically. And then from there, I just realized, you know, it was a real passion of mine, and my career just went from there. Interesting. Okay, Andrew, could you explain to us what hydroponic farming is? Yeah, so hydroponic farming is growing plants without soil. Instead of having soil, you replace the soil with a nutrient solution that's in water. And um, what you basically use to control that nutrient solution is your EC and your pH, as well as the PPM, that's parts per million. Okay, so EC and PPM, is that the same thing? There's a slight difference between the two. EC is the electric conductivity of the nutrient solution. And that's going to give you a more vast um, number of the nutrient solution. That could be as far as heavy metals, basically anything in the water. Mm -hmm. Whereas your PPM, the parts per million, that's more focused on the nutrient elements in the water. Interesting. Okay, Andrew, could you give us three tips for new beginning hydroponic farmers? Yeah. So first thing is just keep it simple, start small. You don't want to get overwhelmed. You're just learning. You know, don't get in over your head. Um, you know, start with one variety of plants, get comfortable, and then start to move forward into more various types of plants. Um, and also, just keep things clean. That's where all your problems start. That's where any diseases start, or funguses, really any pests. That's where all your problems are going to start. Okay, so the most important thing is basically to keep your farm clean. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Andrew, how do you see the future of hydroponic farming? I mean, as time goes on, hydroponic farming is just going to get more and more important. Um, water is becoming more scarce in the world, and with that being said, hydroponics are just going to be the go-to thing. Okay, now why is why is the water so essential in hydroponic? Do you use less water in hydroponic farming? You use much less water. Um, in the same amount of water that you would use daily in conventional farming, you could go for one, even two weeks through hydroponics. Wow, so it's about like 70% uh, less water you use? It, or? it really could be up to 90%. Wow. Even. Thank you so much for joining us, Andrew. Yeah, it was a pleasure having you. Definitely. It's a pleasure being here. Okay. So thank you so much, guys, for watching us. And uh, make sure to always uh, follow us uh, since we will have more of these uh, coffee chats um, with Andrew or other team members. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channels down below and give us a thumbs up and share if you enjoyed this video.